everyone, it's Taylor here with Grubby Hippo Soap Co. and today I'm going to be making mahogany teak wood. So I'm not quite sold on that name. I think I do want to use something a little bit more different and unique. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. I would really, really appreciate it. So here I'm starting off by straining my lye solution. This is a combination of water, lye, I also have some silk in there to kind of add an extra special feeling to the bar, as well as some salt. Now salt is a humectant and it does attract moisture to the skin and I also use it to enable me to kind of unmold um, my soap a little bit sooner. It adds kind of a hardness. So I'm just going to discard this leftover silk. And now I'm going to give this a quick blitz. Okay, now that this is emulsified, I'm going to add my fragrance oil. In here I have obviously the fragrance oil and I also have some kaolin clay. Kaolin clay is believed to anchor the scent and hopefully it'll, it'll help the scent retention, um, help it stay stronger longer. Some of the reviews on this fragrance said that it caused acceleration and rising. So I'm going to be very careful if it does end up causing some problems. I'm just going to go with a plain black soap. So I guess, I guess we'll give it a shot. Okay, so I'm going to split this batch in half. To one half, I'm going to add my titanium dioxide. Here, I'll move these over so you guys can see a little bit better. So I'm going to add my titanium dioxide here. This fragrance does discolor, so this is likely going to be a more tannish color. And then I'm going to add my activated charcoal over here. Now, activated charcoal does have a tendency to soften the bars. So, to counteract that, I'm also going to add some pumice powder.
so now I'm going to pour off a little bit of each. And then I'm going to do a little switcheroo here. All right, so in the black, I'm going to add this white. Ooh, it's definitely getting thick. We'll make it work, though. And I'm going to give this a little stir. And in the white, I'm going to add the black. And I'm hoping there's a little bit more black here than white and white here than black. But even if it's 50-50, I'm cool with that. I'm going to pour this in. I'm going to give this a little bit of texture. Then I'm going to spray this with a little bit of Gold Fairy Dust from Mad Mica. Not too much because they don't want these bars separating in the shower or anything. They will eventually because of the mica probably, but don't want it to happen too soon.
now I'm gonna pour on this, and this is definitely getting thick. Okay, I went to go kind of bang that out a little bit because it was so thick. And I don't want a bunch of air bubbles in there. It might happen. It's not the end of the world, but if there's anything I can do to fix it, I'm going to try my hardest. Alright, so the good thing is that I don't really have to wait for this top to set up before I can texture it, so that's nice. Hmm. Trying to decide if I want to smooth it out first. Okay. I think I'm just going to go for it. Here I have a mixture of bay leaves, peppercorn, and rosemary. So I'm going to add this to the top, and I kind of just want this to look a little woodsy, kind of bring out the earthiness in the bar. because this does have uh, pumice in it, so I don't want it to be too hard and break my wire. There is the cut. So this is going to continue to discolor to um, probably a beige-ish, yellowish kind of color, just as it, um, as it is here. It's going to get a little bit darker. If I were to remake this, because I probably will, this fragrance is a really nice fragrance, um, I think that I would just go ahead and do... A solid color with some pumice probably just black with pumice and probably just leave out the white I didn't um, think that it was gonna get this dark this fast so I'm interested to see how this ends up curing
And my idea of having black with white and white with black didn't really go quite as planned either. And my mica line is almost non-existent. So it's there, but I don't think it really makes a difference. I'm still happy with the design.